Pharma Ventures, experts in deals and alliances. Hello and welcome to Pharma Ventures Insights at Anglo Nordic London 2017. Here with us today is Keith Blundy, Chief Executive of Storm Therapeutics, the world's first company targeting RNA modifying enzymes. Welcome, Keith. It's nice to have you here. Thank you. So, Keith, why don't you tell me a bit about Storm Therapeutics and your strategy going forward? Uh, Storm Therapeutics is, as I've, we've been talking about, is a, is a new company formed in the, in the last year with a Series A last June. Um, and it is taking a pioneering approach to new therapeutics in cancer and other diseases by targeting heretofore enzymes which haven't been drugged before, which are involved in RNA modification. Um, if I give you a little bit more flavour of why that might be important, uh, you know, if you think back to your days of school biology, we were all taught about DNA makes RNA makes protein, and then we discovered that actually there's far too many, uh, too much DNA in the cell. Uh, to, to, to code for those genes. We thought that was junk DNA, then we found that that junk DNA actually wasn't junk and it was transcribed and made mm -hmm. into non-coding RNA. It is those non-coding RNAs as well as mRNAs which are modified by the enzymes we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And in some diseases uh, that modification is perturbed, so therefore there's a great biological thesis there and there's much coming out in the literature in the last few years showing that these aberrant modifications have an influence in cancer and other diseases. So there's potentially a large area to explore here of new enzymes to drug. Great. And what kind of stage are you at at the moment in your development? Well, al although we had Series A last year, um, the company had been incubated for a few years before that, and putting together the business plans. But to cut to your answer, your, the, the bottom line of the answer is that we're very, very early. We're mm -hmm. right at... Uh, you know, target validation, building screens, and then we're currently about 13 people. We expect to build that to no more than possibly 20. Um, but the, it, we, our teams have been building now since last September, uh, but we already have four programs which are advancing into chemistry. Okay, and have you any idea about which forms of cancer you're looking to target at this point? Well, much like everyone else in these days, when you start off a cancer drug discovery program, you have some idea of which cancer and what patients you should be treating. So we're, we're not uh, actually being very um, public about our particular individual targets that we're working on at the moment, okay. but rest assured, we have <laughs> ideas about where we're going with the drug discovery. Sure. And if we go back to the financing, mm. it's a novel mechanism of action for targeting cancer with. And how did you find it was raising money with this mechanism of action? Yeah, I think one of the reasons uh, it was slow to get to the Series A was because of the novelty and the perhaps some people would see risk in the science. I see that more as opportunity. Um, but no, there are certain some enlightened VCs out there and we're very pleased to have Merck Ventures, Pfizer Ventures, Cambridge Innovation Capital and Touchstones who saw the opportunity here. And I should say also around, as always, in an venture backed in early stage investment, you're backing the founding scientists, which are two professors from Cambridge University, Tony Kuzaridis and Eric Miska, some of whom have been and, and, um, and formed successful spin outs before. Okay, so they were very interested by having a new mechanism of action in cancer, even when there's so much promise in the um, immuno oncology side of things. Yeah, so. Uh, you're absolutely right, we are working in a space which is, uh, I say new mechanism. There are similar mechanisms, for example, methylation of other things within the cell like DNA and histones, but there is no one out there in the world as yet, we are the world's first company looking at the enzymes that modify RNA. Mm. So you're absolutely right, in this space there is no other company than Storm. And that does excite people because there's a huge amount of potential. There's far more different types of modifications and far more different types of RNA in the cell than there are DNA and histones. So almost uh, too many opportunities to follow and that's going to be one of our challenges, picking the, the really good ones to follow. Yeah. And regarding the further development of this drug, obviously you have a lot of other hurdles to, to cross. Mm. How are you going to get this drug to market? Do you have a specific strategy in mind? Well, as we've been discussing, we're a startup biotech. Mm. Uh, I think 
you go through staging posts in the evolution of the company and of course we start with ambition that we want to be a company which has the potential by the time it ends its series B to be sustainable or I should say because given that some of our investors are you know they're there to make money be an acquisition target so you know but I doubt very much in our wildest dreams we'll be out there selling drugs at the end of the day but I'd hope we would have a, a, an enterprise which is sufficiently successful that it could have its products licensed on and maybe share promotion rights but you know we're, we're talking a, a 10 year game there so mm. first staging points are to show that we can drug these enzymes they have an effect in cells they have an effect in in, in humans mm. and then uh, the other things will follow I think. And if this was to be successful you could open up a whole new field of uh, drug discovery and development potentially if these RNA enzymes are a good target for cancer? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt there'll be good targets for cancer mm -hmm. in here. The classes of enzymes we're talking about, like methyltransferases for example, um, have been drugged in other disease settings. Um, so I, I think it's just a matter of time of which ones are the important ones. Yeah. And I think you will find others coming into this space, and I'm absolutely sure over the next you know, 12 to 24 months, I'm sure there'll be other companies wanting to follow us. What advice would you give to other small biotech companies who are, have a novel mechanism of action and looking to raise money, but maybe it's finding it quite challenging? <laughs> Perseverance, I think. Um, it obviously helps a lot, depending on who your founding scientists are. And we're lucky uh, we've got people with significant reputation and significant track record. Um, there is more money out there. I think you've just got to, you've got to keep talking to people and hopefully you'll find someone who's prepared to take that technical risk. Thank you very much for talking to us today and good luck with um, your further development. It sounds very interesting. Thank you. For more information about Pharma Ventures, visit our website.